Hey guys, Luke from Uploaded here. Welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. In the last episode, we absolutely wrecked Glacier. And in this episode, we're going on to what I consider to be one of the hardest fights in the game, if not the hardest fight in the game. Let's enter the final Elite Four room. Ooh, it's all red and scary. Let's talk to this guy. Yar, I am the last of the Pokemon League lead for Drake, the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are alive living things. They are free. At times, they hinder us. At times, they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you'll never prevail over me! Welcome to the final fight, and possibly the hardest fight in the game. Elite 4 Drake. Guess what kind of Pokemon he uses? Bit obvious, Dragon types. Yep. In this, before the Fairy type edition, definitely one of the most OP types in the game. We're starting off with the Tito here, because pretty defensive Pokemon. So is Shelgon. Um, but Iron Tail is actually... Not weak to Dragon. Uh, iron, iron type attacks, Steel type attacks are uh, normal effective against Dragons, which is really good. Uh, I apologise if you can hear my phone ringing. You probably can. I can't do much about that. In any case, Shelgon should go down to a couple of Iron Tails here. Now, I haven't really gone over the team and how strong they have become since I've been training. But why don't I just show you them? Oh yeah, level 62 Reservoir, level 60 Flare, everybody else is above 50 except for Gardevoir, which unfortunately hasn't been able to do anything. But Gardevoir has been helping out with the um, Phoebe fight, but Gardevoir's kind of been a martyr, sacrificing herself to allow us to win that fight more easily. So, she's been very useful. Unfortunately, the level... She still does a lot of damage, considering that level, actually. I was trying to level her up a bit, but it didn't end up going very far. In any case, there's a good reason why Reservoir is level 62. As you will see now that I've sent Reservoir out. 223 HP, first of all. Very, very tanky. We have Ice Beam. If you didn't know, Ice Beam is super effective against Dragon types. Yep, one of the only uses of Ice type is killing dragons. So, Ice Beam is definitely good. In any case, we one-shot Flygon. That Flygon will take out the Tito. It has Dig, which is super effective. Um, Altaria, Dragon Flying. We already have one of these on our team, so we kind of know how Altaria rolls. Uh, Flygon's going to get a Sandstorm up, by the way. Drake is actually a Sandstorm user, despite having Dragon-type Pokemon in his team. In any case, one Ice Beam will take care of this Altaria. Well, it should take care of this Altaria. Ooh, paralyzed. That is unfortunate for us. Um, it's his quad weak, the Altaria is to Ice Beam. But it's, yep, it's really defensive. I'm shocked that that didn't take it out, actually. He's going to full restore the Altaria. Um, and just for the sake of, because we... You know, the Altaria doesn't do that much damage. I am also going to heal up my Azumarill here. Because he's going to use a full restore. So, you know, we traded a little bit, except he's full health and I'm not. However, he does way less damage than me. So, yeah, we should be able to do something here. Sandstorm is going to be annoying. Because it's just going to sort of hit Reservoir and knock, uh, knock him about a little bit. But... Yeah, Dragon Breath is powerful move. Really? Really? Okay, sure thing, game. Sure. I, of course, I get paralyzed just as soon as I use a full heal to cure paralyzation. That seems logical. Um, Altaria will be buffeted by the Sandstorm here. As will Reservoir. Uh, right now, I kind of just want Reservoir full health here. So I'm actually going to go and use my only full restore on Reservoir. 
because we need reservoir for the whole fight and I don't want reservoir paralyzed and we were getting a little low on health critical hit of course will bring us down a bit low and of course the sandstorm subsides just when I need it to not subside so yeah that's useful isn't it anyway surf should take care of Altaria here I'm gonna look like a fool if it doesn't it does though and Altaria goes down again loads of experience from these Pokemon this Flygon different to his other one same level different moveset this one has fly and flamethrower which is yeah, I'm not gonna lie it, it hurts it's also got sand attack which is not a great move I'm not sure why he used sand attack there but this should take down that Flygon and put us on yes it will this will send us into the battle against Drake's final Pokemon the destructive force in his team Salamence we haven't seen Salamence yet but now you have this thing is the Suedo legendary for this region um, this thing is strong however it, it does a lot of damage but it can't really it can't really deal with the pain so this ice like this ice beam should actually take it out. It's a dragon flying type, which means it has a quad weakness. And ooh, just about didn't take that out. Very close there. Very close. Um, it does have a citrus berry. He that citrus berry stopped him from full restoring, which is good for me. And now we'll take it out. So down goes possibly the hardest fight in the game for me personally. Um, Reservoir gets to level 63, even more OP. Can't believe Reservoir is currently our strongest Pokemon. In any case, play a defeat Elite Four Drake. That's the final Elite Four member we had to defeat. Super, it should be said. And we get 5,500 for winning. Now he's going to do a really long speech here, which is going to hurt my voice, but I'm going to do it. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go! Go onwards! The champion is waiting. And now... I may possibly damage my voice box. In any case, the champion is the only thing standing between us and the title of Pokemon Champion, which is kind of self-explanatory. Next episode, we will walk this really long staircase and find out just who this champion guy is anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.